Coping with grief. Grief is in two parts. The first is loss. The second is the remaking of life. This video will not give you three easy ways or three amazing ways to get over grief. The truth is, you cannot actually get rid of grief completely or overcome grief completely. The good news, you can commit to the process of coping with grief. You can improve your life if you know what to do with grief. Some losses in life can be compensated. Others leave deep wounds. How can you heal from grief? How can you get back to your usual self? The greater your grief, the less likely you are to get back to your usual self. Grief could drag you down for good if you allow it. Grief can empower you if you let it. I believe you will choose to empower yourself. There are many ways of coping with grief. You could bury yourself in work. You could try compensating for your loss. You could wallow in self-pity. You could drown in guilt. These are desperate, temporary actions to make the pain go away. So what can you do instead? Give yourself all the time and space you need to grieve. Don't rush this process. Each one of us deals with grief in a different way. Let yourself grieve. Grieve as much as you need to. Somewhere down the road, you will reach the point when you are simply tired of grieving. You will want to do something else. You will look for something productive to do. Anything that lifts your spirits. Anything that improves your mood. Before I go on, I want to stress that you must have some kind of support system while you're grieving. They could be family, trusted friends, perhaps a counsellor, someone you trust and respect. You need support so that you can grieve safely without harming yourself. Make sure you have this support. Let's get back to how you can cope with grief. Assuming that you're sick and tired of grieving after taking all the time and space you need. You may think that you have gotten over grief because now you're looking for other things to do. You finally find something to do. It makes you feel better. So you think you're back to normal. After a substantial amount of time has passed, that very grief that hit you before, it strikes again when you least expect it. This time, you feel more pain. You become more depressed. You're far too exhausted to go through the entire process again. The grief still overwhelms you. The wound hurts more than before. 
What's going on here? I've got news for you. You cannot get rid of grief completely. You've got to transform that potent energy into a positive action that honors your grief. Until and unless you take positive action, you will not be able to cope with grief in a way that's best for you. For instance, let's say you lose a loved one to a terminal illness. Feel the grief. If you feel it deeply enough, you will be motivated to take some form of positive action. You may choose to volunteer your services for the terminally ill. You may choose to raise funds for their medical expenses. You may choose to spread awareness about that particular illness and engage the masses for help. You may choose to build a career on researching a cure for that medical condition. You may choose to further your studies and write a thesis based on that illness. Whatever you choose to do, it will grow and transform you for the better. You will be the catalyst for positive action, positive change in your environment. You will not run out of fuel for your mission because you are being driven by grief. You are transforming grief into passion, conviction and ambition. In one way or another, you are helping people improve their lives. You are engaging them in purposeful action. You are giving rise to positive change through your positive actions. When you're at this point, you may still feel some sadness, but you will no longer grieve. Why? Because you have done everything in your power to make sure that only good has come out of your grief. Whatever loss you're grieving, don't just grieve. Do something with your grief. Think about what positive action you'd like to take and do it. Don't waste your grief. Don't waste your life on grief. Grief is like the ocean. It comes on in waves, ebbing and flowing. Sometimes the water is calm and sometimes it is overwhelming. All we can do is learn to swim.